Okay guys, so check this out. Kanye West's celebratory tweets about leading the polls in Kentucky were premature. On Tuesday, October 13th, a noticeably thrilled Ye took to Twitter to share what turned out to be invalid early election results. Get the West Wing ready. He tweeted alongside a video of himself pointing to the results. This is how I felt when I saw the Kentucky poll result. Get the West Wing ready? Huh? Get the West Wing ready. Hey, get the West Wing. 19%, 40,000 votes. Kentucky. Get the West Wing ready. Let's go. Let's go. Ye, who managed to get on the ballot in Arkansas, Colorado, Idaho, Iowa, Kentucky, Louisiana, Minnesota, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Utah, and Vermont, should have done his due diligence. According to Lex18, who originally reported the numbers, it was simply a test. The Lexington-based news station cleared up the confusion with a tweet shortly after Kanye's victory lap, writing, Someone discovered a catched web link that we used during June's primary election to post associated press election results. The old link was still populating current AP data and showed test results, which is part of the preparation that AP does in advance of elections. The results shown were not valid, they were simply a part of a test. We regret the discovery of the catch web link and have removed the data from that page. We apologize for any confusion. Lex18 News anchor Nancy Cox took it a step further and apologized to everyone, including Kanye. Despite what Kanye West is tweeting, he is not leading the race for president in Kentucky, she tweeted. The Associated Press always sends out test numbers to make sure systems are working. It's an automated thing that is posting election results on our website. Sorry viewers, sorry Kanye. Kanye's posts were eventually hit with the manipulated media tag, although they both remain on his Twitter page. The ambitious yet seemingly misguided presidential candidate released his first official campaign ad earlier this week, promising through prayer, truth will be restored. But it's important to know he has a very, very slim chance of actually winning. The election takes place on November 3rd when Donald Trump and Democratic nominee Joe Biden will go head to head. But what do you guys think? Did Kanye get a little too happy too soon? But on a serious note though, everyone please, please don't vote for Kanye. A vote to Kanye is a vote wasted. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on our new videos and as always make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com